Hey, Sister Kate here. I know I haven't done any videos for a couple of weeks now. Uh, mainly it's because I was having throat problems. Um, saw the doc today. It was just viral um, pharyngitis. I'm fine. Um, I'm starting to recover. You can still hear a little And I know this is going to seem strange to you that my first video is going to be on this. But I've been reading a book that a friend gave me about the brain and I'm just going to cut to the chase. For the longest time the medical community thought your brain was static. So when you got a brain injury um, they looked like within the first three days of your recovery how you recovered and then they just assumed from then on that's how you were going to be. So by the third day if you could talk then but you couldn't walk, they were like, that's it, you're not going to be able to walk and you, you, you can talk, but that's it for the rest of your life. Well, this book um, is called The Brain That Heals Itself, has blown that whole uh, supposition out of the water. Uh, it talks about how your brain is formed and how um, your nerves lay down like these maps when you learn how to walk, when you learn how to talk, when you learn how to write, and those maps are fluid that if you get a brain injury and your brain sustains a bunch of damage and you lose those skills you can build those skills back up the same way you did when you were like two and you were you know learning to walk and learning to speak and it gives several different kinds of examples and it includes emotional problems like um, autism and asperger's as well as things like dyslexia or um, <clears throat> problems with speaking um, it even goes into I'm trying to remember this correctly um, auditory like a lot of people will have a hearing problem and because of that when they lay down their initial maps on speaking and interacting with other people they're incomplete because they're not hearing everything they were supposed they are supposed to and yet you know like parents and teachers don't understand or don't notice that the problem is actually they're not hearing things correctly um, and it goes through people who have problems writing and how you correct that and it's amazing so it it affects me personally because my father had a stroke when he was a young man um, and he was overseas and at the time the medical community was like he had a stroke he's not going to make it and so they pulled the plug and he died now I know, and I'm not trying to say I'm going to go back in time and fix that, but now I know that you don't just pull the plug after three days. You wait and you see and you start working on things with the person, whether they're um, awake or not. You start moving their body, you start talking to them, you play music to them and all these other things to keep the brain stimulated and get it to start forming pathways. Uh, one of the examples in the book is by a doctor whose own father had a stroke and was debilitated, couldn't walk, couldn't talk, and, it, and um, he started him out by crawling. And it was very frustrating for the man that he had lost so much of his ability, but he crawled for seven or eight months like a baby does, and then he could get his balance enough to sit up. And then from sitting up, he went to pulling himself up on things and then to walking. So it, it's amazing. Um, and I just want you all to know, even bad habits like overeating or smoking or addiction, alcohol, all those things, your brain can fix that. All you have to do is be Hebrew about it and start to do the things that are going to correct it and stop doing the things that are causing you problems and your brain will adjust and you will form new maps to do the right things. And the old maps that keep you in those bad habits will disappear. So I hope that encourages you. I hope you decide you're going to take care of problems that you have in your life. Praise the Father for his miraculous body that he gave us. Shalom!